Hi, Malvin Nim here of GreatToysOnline.com. Bandai South Asia has just provided us a large lineup of samples for us to showcase at the Great Toy Shops with Green Hills branch starting today. So most of these items are either pre-ordering now or has already been listed yellow jumpsuit version of Bruce Lee so this is an advanced sample the item is to arrive end of January to February 2017 for those who haven't pre-ordered this figure we highly suggest that you do so since we don't have much remaining stocks left of this figure and we will also have stock of the reissue of the first Bruce Lee figure we also have him on pre-order the figure has become very very popular and we don't have much stock for the reissue so so compared to the first figure the this new figure the paint job and the paint scheme is quite nice i really like how much detail they put on the on the shoes the figure has the same um really nice body shape and really nice feel and stiffness for the figure The poseable joints of a typical SH figure arts figure is still there. The body of the SH figure arts figure feels very solid and very hard, does not feel hollow. You will feel that there's really good quality in the figure and it's very stiff and very stable figure. The figure comes with four pairs of hands, four faces all in all, two nunchucks and one staff. The figure comes with four faces, so this is the first face, this is the second face, this is the third face, and this is the fourth and final face. Of course the figure comes with a typical SA Trigger Arts articulation, there's of course the shoulder joint here, the ball joint, the elbow joint, the arm joint, and a lot more joint to give it ultimate posability and articulation typical of the new modern SH Rigor Arts figure so do check out the sample that we will be having on display at the Great Toys Shops with Green Hills Ranch Rigor Arts Zero Hello Kitty regular color and Hello Kitty Gold version will be on display also so both of these items will be arriving end of January 2017 to early February. The same goes for my Melody red version and the pink version. Do check out the unboxing video that we'll be having of all of these figures at our YouTube channel youtube.com slash great toys and our Facebook page facebook.com slash great toys Thank you very much for checking out this video. We will also be having Chogokin, Chogatai, Daisakusen, Woody Robo Share, Star Robot on display. We're waiting for the advanced sample of the Buzz Lightyear Robot to make the final combination. So the Buzz Lightyear Robot will combine with the Woody Robo to form a giant, almost two feet tall robot. SH Regards Harlequin will be arriving next week. So this is what the box looks like. Inside, we have the instruction manual. Comes with um, comes with seven hands, the baseball glove, the gun, and three swappable heads. So unlike the other SH Regards figure, where you can swap the front face, Bandai chose to give the figure a full swappable head. Notice has all the hair attached. Harlequin comes a really nice, really detailed uh, figure. The quality that you would expect from an SH figure arts from Bandai Japan. The jacket is not molded on. You can, with a bit of adjustment, you can actually remove the jacket out. The same goes with, like example, the SH figure arts dressing figures, where you can remove the jacket. For the ab section, Bandai molded a separate piece for the shirt and the bear skip. Really nice authentic looking figure. 
Next we have SH Rigger Arts Ultraman Zofi. So this is the second of the new SH Rigger Arts Ultraman line. Bandai has started to reorganize some of their product lines. For example, for example the D Arts line was renamed as part of the SH Rigger Arts line. Same for the Ultra App figures. They're now been redone under the SH Rigger Arts line to, to give the products more streamlined concept in terms of sizing and design. So inside the box, Sophie comes with a swappable face, a swappable head, and a Tamashi effect part. As you notice, a lot of the new figures now comes with the clear translucent effect parts. Even the new robot, even the new robot spirits now comes with effect parts. Of course, the optional effect parts will give the figure more play value and more enjoyment. Of course, the optional effect parts will give the figure more play value and more enjoyment. So next unboxing that we have here is a SA Trigger Arts Charizard Lizardon. So you can check out other unboxing and review videos of this figure on YouTube since this item has already been in the market for more than a month now. So here on the top of the box, we see there's a Pokemon logo here on the top. And this is the comes with this glow paper cut out and the instruction manual at the back. So the, the box is quite huge mainly because of the tail of the figure. So here is Charizard. Here's the optional effect parts as well as the display stand. Unlike unlike the typical SH Trigger Arts display stand. Bandai made an effort to really give the figure a really special display at this time. So here's the effect parts. Here's the figure. So the figure has nice paint, nice design, and nice detail. You can see the translucent effect part on the tail, multiple joints. Instead of manufacturing a simple rubber tail, Bandai went on the extreme and manufactured this figure with a multiple joint possible plastic tail which would give the figure a more fluid look rather than this main body is made of plastic and the tail is made of rubber etc. So Bandai really did well on that aspect. Then of course the figure comes with a lot of posable joints and even the wings are fully posable and has tons of articulation and tons of uh, movable joints. We have Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker from SH Rigi Arts. So this item is currently up for pre-ordering for a May 2017 re-release. So we will have this figure displayed together with the Effect Wind Green version. There won't be a re-release of the Effect Wind Green version but luckily we still have a couple of stock of the Effect Wind Green and Violet version so do get them while you still can. So for those who are not so aware of the contents of this figure, this is what the figure looks like inside. So this is SH Trigger Arts Kamen Rider Double Cyclone Joker. So there's been a lot of good reviews and good praises on this figure. Really nice, very sharp detail and articulation by Bandai. Typical SA Trigger Arts detail and articulation. So for those who missed out on the first release of this figure, do pre-order it now for the second release. Uh, we don't think Bandai will be doing a third release for this figure anymore.